Hello friends, I'm Tim Wildsmith, and in this video we're going to be taking a closer look at N.T. Wright's commentary on Galatians. It's the first volume in a new series called Commentaries for Christian Formation from Erdman's. Okay, I'm really excited for this one. I mostly do reviews of Bibles and videos about uh, Bible study and things like that, and, and this kind of fits in there. This is a, a, my first book review, my first commentary review, and I'm doing this on the new commentary on Galatians from N.T. Wright. This is, uh, I mean, this is the first volume in this new series from Erdman's called Commentaries for Christian Formation. And I suppose if you are going to start a new commentary series, having N.T. Wright write the first one is a pretty good place to start. They're going to expand this series with other writers, um, with other books of the Bible. And this is really great. They're actually promoting this as N.T. Wright's first full commentary on a single volume commentary on a book of the Bible. Many people know him for his New Testament for Everyone series. I actually have that entire collection. It's just a, a small edition um, on each book of the New Testament. It's really great great. He did part of the uh, the New Interpreter's Bible. He did the Romans commentary for that series where there's multiple books in single volumes. So maybe that's why they're calling this his first full commentary. I, I would consider that Romans commentary to be one as well. But really, really impressive. It's an interesting commentary and it really, one of the things that I noticed, and so I'm really just going to tell you what I like about this commentary and, and what I thought about it as I went through. And if you are not familiar with Bible commentaries. Maybe as you study the Bible, you use devotionals and things like that. A commentary is basically a writer, a theologian, a historian going through a book of the Bible verse by verse. Often they start by going through like in the New Testament in the original Greek and they do their own translation. They really study the Greek. They get their own translation. And then they dive through the book of the Bible verse by verse doing historical analysis, doing exegesis of the text and explaining what it means and just kind of, it's a real deep dive into the text. A lot of people are using these in academic settings like seminaries and things like that. Pastors will use commentaries like this when they're preparing their sermons, but I also find that it's really great just to, to study a book of the Bible when I really want to do a deep dive with a great academic commentary like this. And, and that's what this is. It's called the Commentaries for Christian Formation. And I'm going to read something to you from the back of the book. It says, some series focus on exegesis, some on preaching, some on teaching, and some on application. This new series integrates all these aims, serving the church by showing how theological exegesis can underwrite preaching and teaching, which in turn forms believers in the faith. So the idea here is that they want this to, to, to be given eye towards formation. And so practically, how that worked, at least in this commentary from N.T. Wright on Galatians, is that at the end of each section, after he's gone through and done the deep digging into the text, he offers a conclusion where he really turns his gaze to formation, application. What does this mean? What does Galatians, as we're going through it, what does it mean for us today? How do we apply this to our lives? So I would say that if you're familiar with other commentary series, academic commentaries that really go deep, um, this probably feels like that about 80 to 90 percent of the time. And then the other time it's really kind of turning the eye towards formation. So I would say I do think that this is a great commentary for pastors, for, for students and things like that if you really want to dig deep in the text. But also just for people who are, if, you're, if you wanted to do a study of Galatians, maybe you're going to get a Galatians devotional, but I think this is also a way to really go deep on your own and study that. I don't think it's just for pastors and professors and things like that. I think it can work for both. I think that's really, really cool. And so really the, the idea here is what do we think about the work from N.T. Wright on this? And I, I'll just say I'm a big fan of N.T. Wright, of his writing. I, I have loved his work over the years. I've shared with some of you on, on other videos on my channel that I had the opportunity to listen to N.T. Wright teach through the book of Philippians in person last year while I was a visiting scholar at Wycliffe Hall at the University of Oxford. And so N.T. Wright, that's where he's based. He's based at Wycliffe Hall. And while I was a student there, every Monday morning, we got to go and listen to him teach through the book of Philippians. And one of the things that I've told people about that time is that it was it was really awesome. Uh, he, he's so deep. I believe he was standing up there with a Greek New Testament, teaching us right out of the Greek, which is really cool. But it was like every, every Monday morning, there were things that he would say that would just be deeply profound and academic and, and really challenging to me as I read along in Philippians with him. But also he was, he was funny and he was self-deprecating. I laughed every single time. And y'all, every single time, at the very end, usually in the last five minutes, sometimes just the last one to two minutes, 
he would bring it home. He's really teaching through the text like a professor, but he would bring it home in this very warm and pastoral way. And oftentimes I found myself with a lump in my throat. It was just so moving and so inspiring. And what, so what I learned about N.T. Wright by, by listening to him teach through Philippians is that, yes, he's a brilliant academic mind. He's a leading uh, New Testament theologian and historian, but also he has a pastor's heart. You know, and, and so what I think works so good about this series and the aim of the Commentaries for Christian Formation is that it feels a lot like what he was already doing. When he taught through Philippians, it was really digging deep in the text, really going there, but then at the very end, he was applying that to our lives and asking us to consider what it meant. And that's exactly what this commentary series is all about. So I think it really fits for his style. I think it really works. And also, I just think N.T. Wright is known for, he, he's known for a few different things, right? He's known for um, really understanding the history and the context of first century Israel and, and just what was going on in those early days and when the New Testament was being written. He's, he's an expert in that. And so that's really needed when you're studying one of the epistles from Paul. He's also an expert in Paul. He's got the, the biographies of Paul, uh, so much time spent in t- um, exploring and, and helping people understand the theology of Paul. So that's obviously in here. It's particularly you often associate N.T. Wright with the new perspective, the so-called new perspective on Paul. There's some of that here when we talk about faith, the faith or the faithfulness of Jesus. That's in here in Galatians. There's a lot of connections between Galatians and Romans, which he's already written about so much. And then when you talk about kind of this idea of the inaugurated eschatology and the kingdom of God, some of these themes that have played all the way throughout N.T. Wright's career and his writing, all of those things happen in Galatians. And so as, as I was reading this, I thought, man, this is a great, this, this, this small book of the Bible, six chapters in Galatians, is a great place, a, a, a great setting for so much of what N.T. Wright clearly cares about as a theologian, as a historian, as a pastor. They, they overlap, and he has the opportunity to explore that. So what we have in, in this commentary, I think, is one of the world's leading biblical scholars in a territory that he knows really well, and that's really what makes this t- commentary shine. I, I thought at the beginning there's a great introduction. Don't skip over the introduction just because it comes before the, the exposition of the text. He really sets it up. He gives us a picture of what was going on in Galatia, why Paul was writing this letter to the church there. That is very, very helpful to set it up. And then he marches through the text with just precision, excellence. He knows what he's doing. He's so familiar with this text, and it really helped it come alive to me. I really was, I was challenged by Galatians in a new way. There's, there's these key pockets, right? There's these, these certain places in Galatians, I think, that we all know, that we've heard a lot, you know, the fruit of the Spirit, things like that, certain parts of chapter 2 that are like, oh yeah, we know those, but we're not necessarily sometimes, I think, as familiar with the entirety of the letter of Galatians as we should be. And that's one of the things that I think Wright does really well in this commentary is he never focuses so much on one little section, one pericope of the text, that he allows us to lose sight of the whole. And really this this overarching theme in Galatians that Paul is really focusing on the unity of the body of Christ and, and how we define who is a member of the body of Christ and who is heir to that, that covenant that God made with Abraham. And he, he never focuses so much on, on just a handful of verses that he doesn't allow us to lose sight of the whole. And I think that is so, so important when we're studying a letter like this is you have to step back, you have to understand it as a whole before you can really make sense of what these smaller sections, these handful of verses mean. You have to see them in that bigger picture. And in the Commentaries for Christian Formation edition on Galatians, N.T. Wright, has done just that. I think it's a fantastic commentary. I read the entire t- whole thing. I took like nine or ten pages of notes, and I just know that this is going to be a great addition to my library, and I'm going to return to it over the years, and I'm excited to see what other editions from other authors and writers um, come out in this series for sure. So I'm really excited to have shared this with you today. I did a full write-up of this commentary at BibleReviewBlog.com. So I encourage you to go there and check it out. I've also put links there to where you can purchase a copy of this commentary. I'll also put those links in the description of this video as well. If you enjoyed this, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. I mostly do Bible reviews and and uh, videos about the Bible, and so that's what this channel is all about. I want to encourage people to find a Bible that's right for them to really study, and I definitely think having a great commentary collection, having great uh, resources like this to help you really understand the Bible as you study is really, really a fantastic way to go. So thank you so much for watching this video. We'll see you next time.